service. So after vans, we've got service. We've got Mr. Tasty, police stockade, enforcer, ambulance. There's a service class in GTA 5, you know. Just nobody knows about it because you can't use it in races. <laughs> the service class in GTA 5 has the taxi uh, and a variety of other things. But yeah, an actual raceable service class. What should we use? We should... Uh, it looks like the police stockade and the enforcer are kind of exactly the same thing, just with a different livery. All Mr. Tasty? Okay, all Mr. Tasty. Industrial action. Let's do... Let's leave it on two laps. That probably seems about right. And then let's leave normal damage. This video is brought to you by the join page of my website. If you want more info on how to join races or other events we do on streams, head to bruffy.com slash join. Wait, does the Mr. Tasty not have a jingle in GTA 4? How do you activate the jingle? Have I got the jingle on now? I think I've got the jingle on now and I just can't hear it. Okay, I can hear it now. Corner cut. Corner cut. <laughs> Into the lead. I do remember some of the corner cuts on this track. There's quite a few. So it's got, it, it sounds like it's got multiple jingles that you, you, you sort of scroll through on every press of the right stick. Six jingles, okay. That's cool. Why was there no Mr. Tasty in GTA 5? That's what I want to know. Such an iconic vehicle. Amazing. Oh, it changes with the speed as well. I'm sure there's a wide variety of like little shortcuts around this area that I'm not remembering. I always thought this was a pretty good track. I enjoyed racing around here. It was always a little tricky. It was kind of one of the more involved tracks with the most corners and no silly stuff. I love it. I love the Mr. Tasty. What a machine. You are going too well. Yeah, this is going too well. There you go. See? <laughs> He's cheating somehow, I don't know how, but he is. Well, in last week's stream of GTA 4, I did have like, hey Ron, going around the Ron, Ron Oil area. Um, in last week's stream, I did have a few wins, I think two, and I had one dominating win. I guess I'm getting this one out early now, in the first race. The rest of the, 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 the stream and all the races tonight are going to be terrible. Oh, yeah, this crosses over, doesn't it? Or 
wasn't as clean as it could have been. <laughs> Cheating in an ice cream van, how dare he. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Pseudonymous is pretty good with the puns. The dominating win was in the police stania. It was. Obviously got a thing for service vehicles. Oh yeah, that's it. The best line around there. I think you go really wide on the outside. On the left hander before the right hander. And you can get, get a much better line. There's all sorts of stuff like that on a lot of the GTA 4 tracks. I mean, we've seen them during all the tracks we've played during these streams. All sorts of little shortcuts. This is, this is not like me. What's this all about? We had uh, quite a few people in last week, though, who said that they regularly raced GTA 4. Not, they're not in yet, so maybe this is why. I'm the only one who's got the, the, the long time experience from the olden days. Beautiful. Nice way to start, though. Fuck. So trucks is next. Oh, what I would give for like, a trucks class. We got fire truck, biff, phantom, and flatbed. And because GTA 4 actually is good, I'm starting at the back. I won the last race. We have reverse grid. Okay, can we not have the, the sirens all the way through? <laughs> I'd allow sirens for like five seconds per person. But let's not have them all the way through like we didn't for the police cars. The understeer on the first corner. <laughs> I like the uh, we. I like that we have the animated siren uh, emote now on Twitch. Bonk. Oh yeah, that's a better line there as well. I remember. We did pick a very short track to do this in. Carnage was to be expected, I guess. You get back. You get back. Wait. Wait. Do the cannon trick. That doesn't actually work, does it? I didn't think that actually worked. To make you go faster if you shoot the cannon back. Does that still work in GTA 4? I know that that was like in the old games with the uh, the tanks and stuff. You'd shoot it behind and it would make you go faster. I didn't think that was a thing in GTA 4. The problem is you've got to... You've got to look back. Wait, it's not working now. Am I out of cannon? <laughs> okay, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm triggering voice <laughs> <How's it going? laughs> every time I press to do the water cannon oh wait am I going to hit it no oh, I did okay I think you can go all the way on the left hand side there you figured that out when Nismo did it the last time you played this really when we were on PC seven years ago. <laughs> I didn't realise it. it did, I, I totally forgot. I mean, that's the thing. We played GTA 4 on PC seven years ago to make up the first seven episodes of the GTA 4 racing series, then never touched it again since. I've forgotten everything that I discovered then. So I guess you've got a finite amount of the water cannon. It's... Oh no, I've got it back! Trying to drive using the map. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't know whether that did anything for me. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I wonder how it works. Imagine we could race fire trucks in GTA 5. I just anything that was that is not currently not available. <laughs> so frustrating that it's not more open. GTA 4 was so much better for that. Even though there was a smaller selection of things. At least you could do more stuff with those things. Can I get it? Yes. Well, there's been a crash. I'm not going to be able to take advantage. Oh, that was fun. Fire trucks, man. Good times. <laughs> Look at this lot. With bikes, you'll miss out on someone missing their breaking point and booting someone into the river. Oh, is this the one that has the, the sort of the downhill thing? I think I mentioned it on the single player playthrough. Oh, it might have been a previous race last week, I don't know. Oh yeah, we go down to the left here, don't we? And then you've got that. Yeah, this is absolutely the place. When it was in cars, someone would be going straight over that every single time on the first lap. I think this was the race, this was the track that uh, Teenage Gruffy came from. I think it was at the end of a race on here. Or it might have been... No, I think I sent the Teenage Gruffy message and then we jumped into this race or something like that. It, it, it was definitely this, this track was involved in some way in that Teenage Gruffy moment. Bikes are so bad. I would argue the bikes are better on GTA 4 than they are on GTA 5 though. Is it better to stay on the left there? I can only assume it is. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? That's something I've, I'm needing to remember. Again, remembering all these lines. Around the outside? No. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to make the corner perfectly, staying on the inside of the lamppost. So I was hoping... I was hoping I would be able to go around the outside, but in reality, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Can you fall off bikes in GTA 4? I feel like I, should, I would have fallen off if it was GTA 5. Someone fell off at the beginning, okay. I think I've just been lucky. I am doing better than I thought I would, in all honesty. Great, great, great. Why do I say things? Aw. <laughs> oh. Damn it. I shouldn't, I should just not say anything ever. We'll have to do this track again in cars later on. It's been it's been let down by the fact we have to do it in motorcycles. 
I think the only classes we've got left now, after motorcycles, isn't it uh, helicopters and boats, I think. So we'll still go through the list of all the classes um, and the tracks like we have been. But we'll come back to some tracks and do some of the more popular classes as well. I've been enjoying GTA 4 racing though. I think we've got to put this into the at least the off-season schedule regularly. 100%. There wasn't as much wheelie spam with bikes in GTA 4. Like once you got to a certain speed, you couldn't wheelie, you couldn't wheelie, you couldn't really wheelie anymore, and it was quicker to lean forward. I think. I think that's why they were better. Yeah. How do I get across? <laughs> oh man, the last lap was the best one. I was almost best lap overall. Took me a while to get up to speed, but we got it in the end. I can't really remember anything positive about board races in GTA 4. In the same way that I can't remember anything positive about board races in GTA 5. How did I miss a checkpoint? Oh, for the love of... <sighs> well, maybe this is why I can't remember anything positive about boat races in GCU before. <laughs> ah. Clean air, solid strategy. Well, gotta pass people eventually. <laughs> I um I do remember that I did do the odd boat race in my time on GTA 4 back in the day but they were very few and far between they were making up places though I know the boat handling feels better than GTA 5 as well. As the you know the bikes are better, it feels like the boats are better. I think just the, the the feeling of weight. I know it divides people for the cars, but I feel like if they didn't have as much body roll, the actual weighty feeling of the cars would be alright. It's more the body roll that causes the, the main issue. But it's that it's that weightiness of the vehicles in GTA 4 that. I think makes it better. I should not have done two laps of this. This was a mistake. I should have just done one lap. This is going to take a while. Um, like I'm pulling back on the stick like you do in GTA 5 to try and get the front end up to make it go quicker in a straight line but I don't know whether it actually works for boats in GTA 4 oh no it does seem to okay it does seem to affect always miss the jumps was quicker to miss them. <laughs> nice reversing. 
Can you miss this one, though? Oh, yeah, you can. See, when you miss the jumps, you get to keep your engines in the water, propelling you forward for a longer time. <laughs> Kept it strong for the overtake. Do one jump. Okay, I'll 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 hit one jump. I'll, I'll choose which one I do. I'm not sure yet, but. Okay, we're almost, we've almost got a lap done. What determines the colours of people in these races? Is it random? Because I've been orange all the time. Is orange always the host? And then all the other colours are just given at random. I'm very happy to be orange. <laughs> Rip. I think of all the colours I could choose, I have the right one. I haven't chosen anything. <laughs> From what I can remember. This has been quite the comeback from that early respawn and stone dead last. I'm in second. I'm not catching Shazza, who's one of our regular GTA 4 players, even to this day, who's now joined us. Clean air strat worked very nicely indeed in the end. Thing is though, one mistake and this could go very bad. Like there's so many people right behind me. There it is. There it is. I've missed the checkpoint. Don't forget to ruin it all with the jump. Yeah, didn't even need that. Didn't even need to wait for the jump. It was going too well. The comeback was too good. Right. That should have been the jump that I took, I know. Well, it was a good comeback until it wasn't. I'll go for this jump, it seems the safest. I'm trying to avoid everything. I've been put way out on the wrong place. <laughs> that jump ruined me. Starling host is always orange, everyone else is random. Okay, that, that works well though. Like, I like orange. Favourite colour and all that. Well, I think uh, second place isn't going to happen anymore. It's a short-lived second place. But I went from 13th to second. So 
so I can be happy with that up until the mistake. Imagine that's going to be the only boat race we do though. Helicopter race next. Yeah, pulling back on the stick the whole time is quickest in boats. Yeah, I thought it would be. I mean, I was doing it during all of that, but it certainly doesn't seem to have as much of an effect as it does in GTA 5. Same with wheeling, I suppose, and well, basically everything else, care boosting, whatever. <laughs> 